Hey mamas, I bet many of you have been in a situation where you hear your baby making noises in their sleep and you rush to check on them, fearing that they're awake. Hey, I was there too, especially with my first. What if I told you that there might be one simple change you could make that might lead to better sleep for everyone? In this video, I will reveal what a common mistake is and how you can make a simple change that might have dramatic effects. My name is Kylie Etz and I've been helping mamas feel empowered and like they already are doing a great job raising their babies. I have a passion for normalizing and bringing clarity around baby sleep, development, reflux, and more to really help you gain clarity and feel empowered and confident in your motherhood journey without feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or worried you are somehow doing something wrong. But first, please make sure to grab access to the free Redefined Baby Sleep mini course. Babies are very different from adults when it comes to sleep. They don't experience the same sleep paralysis that adults do during the REM sleep, which is when the brain is most active. So when your baby appears to be making noises, grunting, or even crying in their sleep, it doesn't necessarily mean they're awake. Often, as parents, we rush in when we hear these sounds, thinking that our baby is awake. I totally did this with my first. But in doing so, you may actually be waking your baby unintentionally. <sighs> which of course can potentially lead to shorter naps since you inadvertently woke them up and potentially disrupt their sleep patterns and make them a bit fussy and cranky if they are still tired. So what is the solution? This is where the power of the pause comes in. This one simple change can often have a huge impact. Now, you know me and my approach, so this does not mean letting your baby cry it out but rather I want you to tune into what might be going on with your baby. When you start hearing noises, moving around or rustling, even a quick cry, I want you to stop and pause. Listen and try to figure out what is going on. Check the monitor if you have to. If your baby settles, then there's no need to go in. If you see that your baby's eyes are still closed, then let them be, even if they are crying out in their sleep. Initially, babies can be noisy sleepers and they may briefly wake between sleep cycles. We all do. By pausing, observing, and listening for a moment, you'll have a better sense of whether your baby needs your attention or if they're just in the midst of a sleep cycle transition, or perhaps they're acting out a dream. If you do decide to go and check on your baby, then here are some tips to help you go to your baby without inadvertently waking them up if they are still asleep. Use white noise, just a low setting can be enough to help drown out sudden noises that may startle your baby. If you aren't sure whether your baby is awake or not, then try to approach slowly and quietly while doing your best to stay out of their immediate line of sight. Remember, a moment of pause can make all the difference. Now, if your baby is awake and crying or you hear distress in their cry, then go to them immediately and do whatever you need to do in order to soothe them. Follow your instincts on this. If you're still struggling with your baby's sleep, check out the other videos in my sleep playlist. And don't forget to grab access to the free Redefine Baby Sleep mini course for more helpful insights. Now you're equipped with the knowledge to ensure you don't wake your baby unnecessarily during their dreaming phase or sleep cycle transitions. The power of the pause can be a game changer for both you and your little one's sleep routine. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to share this video on your social media channels and also tag me at the Holistic Baby Guru. I'll see you in the next video.